Hey everybody, Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Dragonflight and our Night Elf Warrior. Today we are going into the Barrow Den. We have a kill quest, we have some items to find, so let's get going. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and choosing to join me here today. I truly do appreciate it, and I hope you are all doing well. You know, I think this leads back to the entrance to the Barrow Den, but I could be, I could be completely wrong. The entrance could be, in a, it could be down this way. But we'll check this out. Ah, yeah, here we go. If you zoom in on the mini-map, you can kind of see a little trail that leads back to it. Kind of surprising that there weren't any enemies here. Ah, okay, well that makes sense. There are other players here. That's why no enemies. In fact, there are like a handful of other players. Now we're starting to see the respawns. Alright, Oban here wants us to bring him a Shaman Voodoo Charm. That's going to be a random drop off the Shaman. Uh, was there an item in here as well? I'm not sure. Let's have a second look. No. No quest items.
and we got level 9. We got Whirlwind. Unleashes a Whirlwind of Steel, striking all nearby targets for 19 physical damage. Deals reduced damage beyond 5 targets. Uh, this doesn't require us to have any specific weapons, and there are no stances, so we can use that anytime we have the rage. I mean, I will say, Whirlwind costs 10 more Rage, but it also deals, ten, like, a, uh, well, like 8 or 9 more damage than Slam does. Obviously, it'd be more beneficial if we were fighting multiple targets. And there is the voodoo charm we need. Now we're just looking for the Sapphire of Sky item and we need some more kills for the kill quest. Uh, we actually don't need this guy yet. But I was kind of wondering if maybe the last item wasn't in here. Uh, the last item is not in here, which means I have no idea where the last item is. Let's check over this way. Uh, nope, but this is the, the quest giver, so that's... Uh, we know where his spirit, or his body is, rather. So now it's about waiting for it to respawn. Yeah, kill the body of Oban Rageclaw, then use the voodoo charm. Apparently we can use the charm on the body even if somebody else killed him. That's, that's fine with me. I will take it. We got a one-handed sword there with strength and stamina. Let's go ahead and equip that. And now the search is on to find this last item. Like, historically, I am really bad at finding these items. Uh, so, I think we went right here initially. Let's go left this time. It's gotta be down that way somewhere. Hey, there we go. 
perfect. And a couple more kills, and then we could probably hearth out of here. Go ahead and vendor our junk. Be careful. Hello, farewell, goodbye. And now he's sending us after Ursul the Mauler. He is going to be in the southwestern part of the zone, I believe. And we also got a pant upgrade, a little bit more armor here. All right, so interestingly, we don't have a breadcrumb to go down and speak to this guy yet. I'm thinking maybe if we take the breadcrumb to Darnassus and back, maybe that will take us somewhere. Let's go ahead and uh, let's do this one. Excellent, that's level 10. Now we need to bring Sister Aquin's note to Leora. Okay, so we're just going back. It was a back and forth type of quest. Uh, let's take a look at our specs. We are going to go into Fury. A furious dual wielding berserker unleashing a flurry of attacks to carve their opponents to pieces. Preferred weapons dual two handed. That's right, we have like the monkey grip thing. So we, we equip two handed weapons, but we get one in each hand. Uh, we are going to have Bloodthirst, Assault the Target in a Bloodthirsty Craze, dealing physical damage and restoring 3% of your HP. And then Recklessness is a 1.5 minute cooldown. Go Berserk, increasing all rage generation by 100% and granting your abilities 20% increased critical strike chance for 12 seconds. Alright, let's do it. Uh, let's see, right away. Uh, we could grab defensive stance, but I'd rather not. I didn't realize that there were still stances, but apparently there are. I don't think I need defensive stance at all, but that's gonna... Maybe that's gonna cut me out of some talents that I do want. Like, increased leech sounds good. Second wind is good. Restore 6% of your HP every one second when you have not taken damage. That's just like incredible regen. And it sounds really good because we don't get health regen from uh, from spirit at all anymore. Uh, let's see what's over this way. Impending victory. Replaces victory rush. Instantly attack the target causing weapon damage and healing you. Okay, is it just like a more powerful version? 
Uh, War Machine, your auto attacks generate 20% more rage. Killing an enemy instantly generates 5. These are all good. I, I kind of worry that I'm going to want Leech and, and Second Wind. Even if I don't really want Intervene. I guess I could go Rallying Cry. Granting all party members temporary 10% increase to maximum HP for 10 seconds. Uh, right off the bat, I think that I'm going to take... War Machine. And then we'll circle back for Impending Victory. And then maybe we'll think about going into this. We'll see. What I tend to do is I, I tend to just kind of read the talents and pick the ones that make sense to me for leveling. And then once we get into like the Dragon Isles, that's typically when I will look at uh, a pre-built spec and kind of fix things about our spec to make them a bit more optimal. May the stars guide you. Greetings. Looks like they might have moved Ursula the Mahler in the Cataclysm to be just northwest. He used to be over in the corner here, I think, but now he looks like he's northwest of the town. Oh, a couple of other things happened when we hit level 10. We got Battle Shout. Increase the attack power of all party members within 100 yards by 5% for an hour. Okay, so we can just pop that on and leave that on. And then we got Heroic Throw. Throws your enemy, uh, your weapon at an enemy, causing 14 physical damage and generates a high amount of threat. So kind of like a ranged taunt almost. Feel free to brag. Not sure how much we'll be using that. Much prefer to charge in. Alright, interestingly, still no breadcrumb to come down here. Uh, so, you know, if we don't get a breadcrumb, inevitably I'll head down there myself. Uh, we can... We can mount. So let's find something, like, relatively normal looking. Uh, nah, well... That could be okay. Yeah, this is okay, I guess. It has a fluid enough motion to it. And I guess we should also remember to activate Berserker Stance. Uh, an aggressive combat stance that increases the damage of your auto attack by 15% and reduces the duration of fear, sap, and incapacitate effects on you by 10%. Well, that's, that's a little bit different. So it's not really like increasing all damage, but it is increasing our auto attack. Oh, look at this. Let's see, the road to Darnassus must be kept safe. Corrupted Furbolgs from the Gnarlpine tribe have been attacking travelers relentlessly. Alright, we're going to slay eight Gnarlpine ambushers. Which is going to happen in the same area where we're hunting for 
Ursula the Mauler. Oh, and we also learned Execute. We got a ton of abilities, kind of like all at once. Is this where I want Execute? Not particularly. But I don't really have a better spot for it right now. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there for now. And we'll just kind of see like how many more abilities we actually get. You know, I'm noticing that Whirlwind no longer has any cost. And Slam still costs 20. So maybe I ought to switch these around a little bit. Maybe I'm going to be doing Whirlwind like a lot more than I thought. I wonder if it having no cost has to do with Berserker Stance. It doesn't say anything about that in the description. Let's see. Let's turn it off, uh, if we can. We, we can't even seem to really turn it off. I guess if we had another stance, we could switch to another stance. But yeah, otherwise we're stuck with it for now. Loon be with you. All right, we'll head back to town. We'll turn in Ursula the Mauler. And if we don't get any breadcrumbs, we will head down to the lake.
I am listening, Bashar Salam. All right, um, let's see. Let's equip that. I really wish we could get some better weapons. I just don't think, yeah, there, there's really nothing that we can do uh, about the weapons right now. I don't think we're going to really get better weapons probably until we level up quite a bit. All the weapons are downscaled to be like really, really weak at this level. Uh, let's see, actually Cyril here has another quest she didn't have before. Bring the package of rare earth to Denelon, down at the lake. Okay, there we go, that's the breadcrumb that I was waiting for. Alright, he has two quests, one to retrieve six Timberling Seeds, and the second to collect ten Timberling Sprouts. So we'll be fighting these guys and we'll be picking it up off the ground. I also saw that there was a, a Glowing Fruit quest. This thing right here, we need to work our way back to that. And I do have to point out that even though I don't think it will last, our attacks feel really weak right now. Like, we just are not cranking out a lot of damage, you know what I mean? And that's probably gonna get, you know, that's probably gonna be changed soon. But it's really interesting to sometimes you experience these like power deficits or weaknesses while playing retail. It happens at, at certain levels. Uh, it's happening now, and it always happens, like, for sure when you first go into the Dragon Isles, unless you're, like, in really good gear or full heirlooms. That's not a bad idea. You know, I, I might be able to make myself some heirloom weapon. Uh, which might be a little bit better than the one we have. I don't have a ton of heirlooms, uh, but I have some. Now, if I do a two-hander, that's gonna get rid of, like, one of my main abilities right now. But it might be worth it to go ahead and check it out. Now see, my heirlooms are so bad, they're only good up to level 34 anyway. Uh, but we could check this out and see. The thing is, I don't think I have like a shield. Do I have a one-hander? Uh, I guess I have to change this to show all classes. Stamina and haste. Yeah, I don't think, apparently... Oh, here we go. Here's a strength sword. So, we'll see. We can do the two-hander, or we can do the one-hander and the shield. Uh, as far as other stuff... Like, yeah, I have other heirlooms I can make. I typically don't really use heirlooms. But obviously that would make us more powerful. You guys let me know what you think. For now, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the weapons out. Uh, for the time being, we'll just kind of go from there. I think maybe I will do the one-hander uh, with our crappy shield though. Instead, that way we can at least use uh, shield slam. I think we yeah we also need. To have a shield for shield block. 
eventually we'll probably replace these abilities with things that are more appropriate for like a fury build. Um, requires a melee weapon. Do I, do I not have a melee weapon? Okay, okay, there we go. <laughs> it's fine, somehow it got unequipped. Uh, we're good now, we're good now. Uh, it's glowing, that's a little bit... A little bit obnoxious, but we'll be okay. All right, let's see. We hit level 11. We'll, we'll grab Bloodthirst. Is this not the same? It's not the same as a Victory Rush. Uh, also, we are we are in combat. So let's sort that out first. Okay, there we go. So yeah, we're going to have Bloodthirst to regen HP as well as a Victory Rush. We are getting a lot of buttons to push. Like, really, really quickly. Uh, I'm going to move a couple of things around here. Yeah, I think eventually we probably won't be using Shield Slam anymore. I wonder if I can, if I can dual wield like right from the get-go. Oh, I can dual wield, however... Aren't I supposed to dual wield two-handed weapons? Can I do that now? Like, if I were to make another one of these... I can, okay, okay, so this is what we're supposed to be doing. This is why uh, things probably feel a little weird. Let's do something like that. Uh, I think that's going to give us probably a lot more DPS. It seems a little bit absurd. 
Uh, but that is how Fury is played, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that, that's hitting a little bit harder. Okay, guys, this is what we're doing from now on, I think. Uh, we won't have these forever. Again, they're only good up to level 34 anyway. We'll have to replace them. But yeah, awesome. I figured it out. Uh, I'm going to take a break right here. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the support on this series. If you are digging the content, leaving a like, subbing to the channel, ringing the bell, all that stuff really does help out a lot, and I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other, and we will see you back here again very soon. Bye for now.